Hi everybody, I'm Jones. And I'm Man. And, and we're, we're Jones, Jones and Man. Man. And today we are Jonesing on Hanger Vodka. Hanger One Vodka. Hanger One no. Vodka. So, as you can see, I left off the one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, I just happened to be at a bar one night, Jones. Uh, tried it, and I was like, hmm, interesting. Mm. Uh, I need to get a bottle of this, okay. and we need to try it. Okay. Uh, it was different. Um, I'll, I'll save my content, uh, comments, not contents, the contents are in the bottle. I'll save my comments. Uh, until we get to tasting good, I, I know that you know. I say, hey, we're gonna do hanger. Uh, see what you can find out about it. Uh, what do you have in the hanger world? Well, it's kind of like uh, you know, when you think of uh, you, you remember those old El Paso commercials? Yeah. So you get your your salsa from New York City. New York City. You yeah. Know, you yeah. get this from California, and they're talking about from a fog point, and it's made from like the fog mist. So. I want to see what it tastes like. You okay. Know, they, they, they have a lot of good things talking about, you know, how it's distilled from the wines and all that thing, you know, so I want to see what this tastes like. Okay. I want to see if it's as clean as maybe like a uh, ethan. Okay. Uh, hopefully it's better than Syrah. So here's what I do. House rules. Oh, and, we, and no battle of the bottles. No battle of the bottle. We pop the top on that thing. We're going to do house rules. Two shots. Two on the rocks. Pours. Oh, oh, God, that's on the table for right there, man. <laughs> Too many episodes. Too many episodes. We're going to stick with three quarters this time because we're trying to shoot episodes and um, wow. keep from... So is that like a rubber cork? It is like a rubber cork. It is like a rubber cork. It's pretty good. Um, pretty cool. I've heard, I've heard, I've, but even before this, I heard really good things about Hanger. But I was like, I never even seen it in the store um, and actually picked this up while I was traveling. Um, it does have a, you know what I, I think about? When Let me I see what you're going to say what I say. Go ahead. Yeah, it's definitely not going to be what you said. Okay. It smells like rubbing alcohol. No, I was not going to say that. I definitely uh, you going to say that. Because I actually try to attach it to real things. Uh, um, rubbing alcohol is a real thing. Sake. I get no sweetness of the sake. Smell it again. I, I, I get no sweetness Okay, okay. Well, I think it has a... A sake aroma to it. I don't. I would, if I had to say this tequila. I mean, not tequila. This rum. Uh, we are doing a vodka. Vodka. <laughs> uh, if this, you know, where it came from, I would say rice or grapes. One or two. Uh, it's definitely grapes. Okay. Or uh, grapes or potatoes. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. So we had to figure yeah, it out. Clean them and drink them. Two on the rocks pours. Let's see if we is it gonna be the battle of the table this time? No, I'm better. Rats, he got it right. Yeah, we have been tasting a little bit. I don't know, it's just the, the way that see how this bottle's kind of rounded in the Yeah, it's a, it's a regular I don't know if you bottle. can kind of see even you can see it, but it's yeah, it's it's not a regular pour spout. No, it's not a it's not a regular pour. Um that that plastic uh, or rubber cork is pretty cool. Yeah, mm -hmm. okay, the cork is pretty cool. Um, you know what I think is cool is that the the bottle is measured. It yeah, has these uh, yeah, yeah. markings on the side. Yeah, that's the other thing. I so you can keep bottle. up with who, how much people have been drinking out of your bottle. Yeah, it's a really cool bottle, man. Uh, I'm gonna predict. Uh, You're gonna a surprise. Predict I'm, gonna I'm gonna predict a surprise. You're gonna predict. It. I'm, gonna pre I'm gonna predict a surprise. Oh, is that the challenge? No, no challenges, no oh, challenges, man. no challenges. I, I learned my lesson. I learned my lesson. You know, it's summertime, training season. Training season. You're not going to have me out in the hot sun, challenge. running around like I enjoy it in any shape, form, or fashion. Yeah, but um, you, if you're you talking about that. challenges, we did a challenge around the No Let's Gin episode, yeah. and I ended up doing squats and push-ups. Yeah, 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 so, yeah, yeah. Uh, if you haven't seen the episode, be sure to check it out. Yeah, and it, then he suckered me into the... Uh, Tank top episode. Oh no no that was that was that was for the ladies. <laughs> that was that was on his own. Yeah, he sucked me into that one. Training season. Clink him and drink him. Clink him and drink him. Oh, 
Uh, if you want to go ahead and start, I'm going to keep sipping so I can get the best review. Um, I actually, I think Hanger, Hanger's a, a favorite for me. Um, and here's why. Uh, it is a little bit different than the average vodka. Even though the aroma, um, I got a little bit of the sake kind of aroma to it. Um, it's a little bit different than your average absolute or, um, you, you know, just, just what you what you feel for a typical vodka. I feel like um, there's more flavor in this. And I think it's the grape side. But I've had Ciroc several times, and, and Ciroc is a, is a grape-based vodka. But I don't get the same uh, it's a tad bit of sweetness on the end. You still get the you still get the the vodka alcohol aroma and flavor. Um, but it makes me want to mix it with something. Now I could drink it straight with no problem, but I think that. Like, uh, I used to drink vodka cranberry, just a little splash of cranberry, yeah. just enough so you can see it pink up a little bit and kind of settle. Um, yeah, it makes me, little my woo woo, a little peach schnapps in there sometimes, yeah. but I got to a point where I was just drinking vodka and cranberry, just straight. Um, it, it makes me want to mix it up that way. Uh, I felt like it was different than any of the other vodkas that we have tried, and initially, I put it up there with effing. So sure. you, you classify this as a favorite? It's a favorite. It's a favorite for me. All right. So um, before I give my full review, okay. I, I have to ask, how much was this bottle? Oh, man, you would ask me that part. Uh, I'm guessing in the mid-30s to $40 range. No, it wasn't 40 I, I'm going to say it was 20s, maybe 30s. Yeah. Somewhere in there. I, I'll, I'll make sure I'll look it up and add it in the comments after. Um, I want to say, if I had to guess right now, I would say it was like, 28 29 bucks. Yeah, I'm, I was guessing the same price yeah. range as similar to the FN as a rock. Yeah. Um, which puts it in a good in a great price point. Uh, because to me, uh, not being typically from Holland like a lot of the Bacchus, um, and you know, you know, if you guys have not watched our FN um, review, definitely go back and you'll see me geek up about how good that FN Baca is. And this hangar one, believe it or not. You're surprised. Just say thank you. <laughs> yeah, I did good on yeah, you. you did I did good. good. I did good. Yeah, I, yeah. Because when I tasted it, I was like, man, there's a lot of because it, and here's where we go from. A lot of people say that vodka is flavorless, odorless, tasteless mm -hmm. kind of deal. And I don't, I don't. I mean, I think that there's a lot of vodka that fits that category. I will put but then your lower end absolutes into that type category. But I think the vodkas that we like the most fit outside of that category. Yeah. Effin is not flavorless. Effin is yeah. not odorless. Uh, Hanger, this has, I mean, like, honestly, you don't even have to really mix this with anything, in my opinion. Uh, this, this I would get it really, really chin. Yeah, it's a sipping vodka. So I did good. Yeah, you did good. Man, uh, uh, yeah, uh, I, I uh think, rock man. Is this our first American vodka um, coming from California? Yeah. Yeah, 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 I think yeah, this is no, the first American vodka. Um, I once I tasted it, I knew why it was talked about so much. Okay. Now the other weird thing is, is they've got a couple of different flavors. Mm. Um, I kind of dabbled in a, a rose. You know, I think rose is going to be the flavor for this year, mm. um, for the summer pretty much. Um, and I'm not sure if I want to. If I want to, I don't even like rose champagne. So I don't know if I want uh, my vodka to be rosé either, but we'll, we'll 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 dabble out and try a couple of different things in the rosé category. But as as for me, it's definitely a favorite. It's definitely clean. Favorite. It's fresh. Um, it's flavorful. Uh, I think it's a, if you want to mix it, you can mix it with some other things. Um, but if you want it, if you're I, I like it straight and on the rocks. Um, this this is this is. A definite must do or must try. Well, um, I'll go ahead and tell you guys this is definitely a favorite for me. Mm -hmm. uh, kind of surprising for vodka. Yeah, it's definitely a favorite. Um, unfortunately, it has to stay behind um, Effin only because I don't know if I can find it. I availability. It. Yeah, availability. Yeah, and really trying it more to see how much more I like it. Yeah, 
but it's definitely well over top with the uh, absolute Elix that we. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And I like Elix, but Elix is the fact that I like what I like about Elix is Elix disappears. Yeah, Elix. So if if I'm making somebody a drink and I want them to enjoy the drink, but I want them to also um, have a little alcohol content to go along with it, uh, and I don't mind spending the money. I would eat, I would make them something with Elix. Yeah. Um, I was out one night and I just poured some. I had you know order me a, it had Elix yeah. and I was like order me Elix on the rocks. Um, let's do two and I let it sit for a while and they were like man I can't believe it yeah. like it's how like how how would this like it's like drinking water. Yeah. Um, and I think that it's you know one of the fun things about this is we get to try things that the average person you know I'm not gonna spend thirty bucks on something that I don't know when I can go yeah. with my. With my what I know is my familiar, you know, whether it's the nineteen bucks on uh, Tito's or twenty bucks on Absolute or whatever, whatever it is. I, I don't think I can do. It. I don't think I can give Tito's twenty bucks. Oh uh, yeah, Tito's is pretty cheap. Oh, I know it's pretty yeah, cheap. Yeah. I'm just saying I would not give them my twenty bucks. Uh, I, you know, I, I got a bottle of Tito. Oh, Tito's. <laughs> I got a <laughs> bottle of Tito's back there. I definitely think we should run it through an episode just to compare it to the quality. I agree. Yeah. Hey guys. Anyone want to do a Taquitos episode? The Tilo. Tito's, Tito's. Hey, Taquitos Tito's. is the hot chips. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know, you you can tell I don't want to do I that. I do one. have somebody that I've been trying to get a vodka episode with. You know who you are, but you've been slacking. Um, mm. And you are a Tito's drinker. Oh. Um, but I want to oh. I want to expose yeah. them to some other vodkas. Yeah. That, uh, and, and, and expose you guys into some other yeah. vodkas. I don't I actually don't think Tito's that Tito's is that bad for the money. It's decent, uh, but I feel like mm. if you if, if if they were the same price, uh, you would pick Hanger One. You would pick Effin over. Uh, you would even pick uh, Absolute Elix over uh, Tito's any day if they were the, if if all things were even. Um. Yeah. 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 I would agree with that. Okay. Well, uh, I guess, you know, we call this, this is definitely a favorite. Man did good on this one. Man did good on yeah, this one. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, I was actually probably a little tipsy this night too, but. <laughs> got lucky. <laughs> but, but I got lucky. It stayed true. Um, yeah. So, uh, make sure that you follow us on Instagram, on Twitter, on Facebook, uh, leave us comment, subscribe, share, share, subscribe, uh, and you know, you know what we do. We'll be yeah. here drinking, clinking and drinking, and we'll see you yeah. next time. Joe's a man. man.